What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Jangs08 YouTube video. Now we're starting something new today. Question of the day. So question of the day for today is who is your GOAT? Who's your greatest of all time? Who do you consider to be the greatest basketball player of all time? For me, I personally can't differentiate between LeBron and Jordan. For me, they're on the same level. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Some days I think Jordan, other days I think LeBron. It's sort of a much of a muchness for me. But yeah, who do you have as your GOAT? Leave a comment down below. Let me know who you have as your GOAT. Uh, is it LeBron? Is it Jordan? Is it Kobe? Is it Kareem? Is it Magic? Is it Wilt? Is it Russell? Is it Bird? Uh, you know, is it Hakeem, who personally is my favorite player of all time? But uh, yeah, anyway, long story short, leave a comment down below and uh, yeah, let me know. Anyway, today we're looking at the Greatest Era 70s Edition 10-pack box challenges and we're trying to figure out is it worth your time so I've completed this it took me about an hour hour and a half I had to do two two domination I didn't have to do two dominations get to the domination games but I'm trying to get through the domination games and uh, I've only got like three to go or four to go so there's uh, six challenges so the first one here is get 40 rebounds over multiple games uh, and that's uh, you can do that in one domination game I did that. Uh, score 68 points with a player in a game, pretty simple. Uh, make 25 three-pointers over multiple games, once again, pretty simple. Score 22 points in a game with a small forward two times, uh, and then score 24 points in a game with a power forward three times. So uh, I did that with a uh, small forward slash power forward and it counted for both, so you could do it that way. And then also get five double-doubles over multiple games. So pretty simple yeah it took an hour and a half so yeah we're going to go open up this box and we're going to see if it was worth my time and let me know also down in the comments was it worth your time to do it did you get anything good did you pull anything good uh, but yeah let's have a quick look at what is in the collection so it is down here greatest era 70s edition so we have a pink diamond artist gilmore then we've got 494 diamonds which is willis reed paul westfall sydney wicks and jack Marin. And then we've got 192 diamond, which is a Pete Maravich. Now, personally, I think that I would like that Pete Maravich. I know he's not the best out of all of them uh, in overall-wise, but I think he could be really good. And I'm kind of struggling at the point guard position. I'm not struggling, but I'd just like somebody that's a little bit bigger. And uh, Pete Maravich 6'5", where I think my tallest is at the moment 6'3", or 6'2". So, yeah, Pete Maravich would be cool. Well, also, I'm digging the card art. I really, really do like the card art in this one. I think it looks cool. There might be a little bit too much happening, but it sort of sums up the 70s. It's sort of, you know, crazy. Uh, and yeah, but anyway, let's go over and open up our box that we got uh, from doing those challenges. And we'll see if it was worth my time. So unopened box here, the greatest era, 70s edition. Let's redeem. I've seen somebody pull two pink diamonds out of one, out of this box. Uh, you know, I know that's not going to happen for everyone as we get an uh, emerald and a gold card here. Uh, it's CJ McCollum and Nashon Highland. Nashon? 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 I don't know. Then we get another emerald here and a ruby. So we'll take that. Jimmy Butler and CJ McCollum again. What is this CJ McCollum pack? Did 2K accidentally give me the CJ McCollum box? If we get CJ McCollum again... Okay, no. We can't. Chris Paul, Jalen Brunson. So, so far, no luck. I, yeah, I would just take a diamond, to be honest. Dejounte Murray, Lonzo Ball. Well, all these cards will go to my collector level uh, and add on to that um, those, that 10,000 you get for every 100. I think we're nearly at 200, or we're close to 200. But as you can see here, we're not pulling anything great. Uh, at the moment, without pulling any of the cards, would I say it's worth my time? Yeah, I'd still say it's worth my time. Uh, it wasn't hard to do. Uh, as we've got two packs to go, we've got Limitless there, um, that sells for a little bit, and then we get uh, AJ Lawson, so there is stuff in this, this that you can sell, uh, and yeah, so we didn't get any of the cards, uh, which is unlucky, uh, unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is, and we can't sell all these cards, and I already have nearly all the cards, how many packs were there, 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 9 of the cards, or maybe not if they were doubles, but, um, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to quick sell all this except for Taylor Jenkins. Uh, send coach to my auctions. And everything else I think I'm just going to just gonna quick sell. 
uh, because I, I'll yeah I think I will but anyway um, yeah was it worth my time yeah is it worth your time I think so if you're playing give yourself a chance to get something free from 2k because uh, Lord knows that over the years they have not like given out free stuff this year seems to be their way that they're putting out these 10 pack box challenges I'd like to see some better odds on it and uh, stuff like that but you know it is what it is small steps small steps at a time but um yeah anyway thank you guys for watching and uh, like I said at the start of the video tell me your answer to the question of the day and uh, like and subscribe and uh, do all that good stuff and um yeah let me know what you guys got all right guys thanks for watching peace